God so perfectly created this world so that we can make choices. Uh, in order to do that, he had to provide us with contrast. Otherwise, we'd live in this perpetual utopia of happiness, right? That's, that's later. That's in heaven. Right now, he wants to give us the ability to choose. And so there's contrast. There's good. There's evil. There's love. There's hate. There's courage. There's fear. A lot of people, though, believe that they shouldn't even feel fear at all. They shouldn't acknowledge fear, that it doesn't exist when it does. And if we don't acknowledge fear, we're actually committing an act of cowardice. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself, right? Uh, without acknowledging that fear, without seeing it for what it is, looking into our lives and going, okay, I am afraid of you know, what's going to happen with my family, my kids, you know, my job then we can't actually have courage. Otherwise, it's just blindly rushing into the battle without a plan, uh, not acknowledging the fear, and then when that hits us, it's debilitating, and it keeps us from being able to move forward at all, could destroy us. So that's one of the ways you can actually identify whether or not you have courage. Okay, And a lot of us do, and some of us don't. You know, it, It's something that we all have to work on on a continuous basis identifying the things we fear, acknowledging that we can't overcome that on our own, and that the only way we have courage is by trusting in something greater than ourselves, in God. Every scripture throughout the Bible that has to do with fear and courage also has a reference to trusting in God, being obedient to God, moving forward in faith. So if you really want to see courage for what it is and really want to understand it, you first have to acknowledge your fears. Identify them, acknowledge them, and God will show you how to courageously overcome those fears and keep moving forward. So look into your own life today. Okay, what am I afraid of? Guess what? It's not a big deal. Nobody's going to judge you. Okay, it's, it's, it's expected. God gave us that fear, those fearful situations, so we'd have an opportunity to overcome, to find our courage in Him and continue to move forward in the battle. God bless.